Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another Topic Tuesday here. Just a brief intro, Topic Tuesday is an Instagram that every single week posts a nail polish related topic that you can respond to either here or on Instagram and I just prefer YouTube because this is where I'm most active. And I will have them and my own personal Instagram linked down below in my description box. So this week I'm doing one that I'm not sure how I'm gonna make this interesting, we'll see. Um, it's interesting to me because I just like this kind of data, but probably this won't be interesting for anybody else. And the question is, what color do you have the most of in your collection? Now, if you followed me for quite a while, you've probably seen my nail polish spreadsheet video, which I will link up in the cards. It is just a breakdown of how I track my nail polish, um, everything that comes into my collection. It tracks like how much everything costs, the colors, the brands by percentage, where I bought it, just a little bit of everything. And if you weren't aware, I do actually have a link in the description box to a template for that spreadsheet if any of you guys ever want to take it and use it or modify it to your own desires. But one of the things that I noticed when I first made that spreadsheet, when I only had maybe 150 nail polishes or so, was that the composition of colors in my collection was completely different than what I had expected. So for probably a decade, I've always said my favorite color is purple. You know, when there's a, when we're playing a board game and there's a purple game piece, I want to be the purple one. You know, if there's like six different water bottles at the store, I want the purple one. It's just like anytime there's something purple in a lineup of colors, I'm probably going to pick the purple one. Or so I had thought. And then I broke it down by color. And when I first made this spreadsheet, I had more blues than any other color in my collection by quite a long shot. And that really surprised me because I don't know if anybody else has colors that they just don't care about, but I always thought blue was a color that I really didn't care about. I didn't think about it. I didn't actively, you know, buy things that were blue or um, anything like that. And so I was just really shocked to see that blue was my top color. And I was kind of like offended by my own self because I was just like, how did that happen? So then for some reason I made it my personal mission to, I guess, make purple the top tier of my collection, which I'm not mad at, I love purple, but as of right now, purple is in fact the highest percentage of my collection. So I have 201 purple polishes. I keep them on rings. I keep all my polishes on rings. Um, and I have five mini rings per big swatch ring. And on each of those five mini rings, there should be 15. Sometimes there's like one more or one less, just depending. But I have two full rings and one like partially full ring. So you can kind of see I have a lot of purple polishes. Yeah, that's 201 purple nail polishes right there. Um, this didn't surprise me looking at it now because like I said, I kind of made a concentrated effort and I'm just really attracted to purple nail polish. It's one of my favorite colors to wear, so much so that I have to kind of force myself to pick other colors sometimes because I feel like my Instagram where I post like a lot of my uh, nail photos, I feel like it'll just be all purple all the time and then people are gonna get bored of my Instagram. And of course, because blue was such a dominating color in my collection for so long, I'm not shocked that blue follows right behind purple and there are 191 blue polishes in my collection. I now actively know I like blue. I'm okay with it. I even bought a blue bedspread recently, but I don't know why I just felt so personally like shook to my core that I had so many blue nail polishes. That was a weird, I was going through some stuff, I guess. So what did surprise me is the amount of greens that I had. And I know that shouldn't surprise me, especially considering lately all I've been talking about is how much I love green nail polish. But that is such a recent development. Like that was maybe last year was when I was like, man, I love green nail polish now. And they pretty much kind of like coincided with when I won Cork Manicure's giveaway for a um, Moonshine Mani polish, uh, Build Me Up Buttercup. And so greens, I have 155 polishes and you can kind of see I have a pretty wide array of types of greens. Um, I'm really getting the green polishes. I can see that that number is 
constantly on the upswing. So I know that I'm probably going to need another big ring for the green polishes soon. But yeah, I'm, I'm not shocked now that I think about it to see that that number has grown so much over the past couple of years. So the one that did really shock me, um, and I thought that there would be more until I like really separated everything out was gray. And the only reason I say that is because I love gray nails. I love wearing gray on my nails. I love gray nail polish, but I only have 24 gray nail polishes. And I bet you will never hear anybody else in their life say that they only have 24 gray nail polishes. And I, I don't know. I just think that gray is a really difficult one to get a ton of variation on. Um, and not only that, because honestly there are like, there is a whole like range of different types of grays and there's like blue grays and, and things like that. But I don't have a lot of like interesting finishes for my gray polishes. So like these are all like gray creams right here. These are the fun finish grays and I only have six. So I have like a couple metallics, a foil, and then two like chunky glitter grays. So if you know any cool, uh, crazy finish grays, let me know because this guy is severely lacking. Kind of in that same vein, um, I have silvers, which I have 37, and I have 50 whites, which is a lot for white in my opinion, because I feel like with silver and white, it's either silver or it isn't, you know? It's either white or it isn't. And so it's kind of hard to get like a ton of variation on these. You know, with silver, you have hollow, you have glitter, or you have metallic. And there's really, I don't think there's really many other ways you can go with a silver. And how different can a metallic silver be from another metallic silver? Like I look at, they're all pretty similar. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. So like there's some that have maybe like a little bit of a like antiqued silver look, but aside from that, there's really not a lot of variation on silver. And um, same with the glitters, you know, unless there's like a different color mixed in and with hollow, like linear hollows, it's for the most part, they're all kind of the same, you know? So I don't tend to buy too many silvers. I like silver nail polish, but anytime that I see, um, especially like now on indie brand sites, whenever I see like really cool silver hollows on their website, I'm like, I have like six mainstreams that work just fine and I would rather buy a cool like other polish from them. So I just kind of avoid buying silvers at this point. This has just devolved into me talking about every single color in my collection. I hope that's interesting to people. <laughs> um, and then as far as white goes, I was kind of on the hunt for a good like cream white. And you can see there is some like very light variation just in maybe like the brightness of the white uh, as far as the creams go. And then I have... I have more like shimmery or like pearlescent whites and that's kind of like I like to wear a shimmery one that has like a, a kind of a color flip to it but the pearlescent whites they just kind of are not my thing they are a little bit dated which isn't a bad thing necessarily I don't think that things that are dated or, or out of style are bad it's just and that's one of the styles that I'm just not into so I don't really reach for the pearly whites that I have and then I have some of the more like white base with like colors or flecks or whatever inside of them. And these are more the whites that I am drawn to, like especially this, um, the 90s by Enchanted. I'm glad I picked this one up. That one's really cool. Um, but yeah, I like a, a white base with like bright fun or like unusual glitters in it. So those are the whites that I really gravitate towards. These other ones, I, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I don't wear plain white nails because they look like teeth. So I use uh, cream whites for bases for like nail art and things like that. And then I have a few that I really wish I had more colors of in my collection. How annoying are these swatch stick sounds? Do you guys hate that? Is it, Amos? Is it ASMR for you? Um, 
I have orange here, which I have 65 of, and then we have some yellows, which we have 49 of. Now, I think that I have a pretty good spread of oranges. I have a pretty wide variety of like colors and finishes. Uh, I probably don't need any more oranges, to be honest with you, but I don't need any of these at all. So this isn't really about needs, it's about wants, right? So I feel like the reason why I really lack in oranges and yellows, and a lot of my yellows tonally are the same, which if you watch one of my upcoming videos here, I'm going to be doing my favorite yellows of all time, and I will talk more in depth about that. But I think that the reason why I just don't have a huge amount of these is because a lot of collections that come out in the mainstream, which is what my uh, collection is dominated by, if they do have an orange or a yellow in the collection, it's usually just maybe one. Like, like there are some collections from brands that come out and they'll like have, you know, three variations of a red or a purple or like two greens or something like that. But if they put a yellow or an orange in, you get one yellow or orange. So, you know, that's just kind of how it goes with these. Um, I am always on the lookout for cool new ones. I hope to get a wider variety of yellows because like I said, a lot of these are the same and I would like more specialty oranges because I do have some like fun finishes, but I don't have any like chunkier glitters in the orange realm except for one and that is the Sinful Colors Pizza Party, which smells like a pizza. Okay, and then the last one I'm going to harp on and then I'll let you guys get back to your lives is brown. Now brown I have 40 and I want more of a specific type of brown because when I look at the browns that I have I have a lot of these I guess you'd call them taupe is taupe even considered brown I put them on the brown wheel because it's kind of similar and just like a lot more like purpley taupey browns I have some really dark browns I have like the taupe leaning browns some of these are like peachier tones that just kind of have a drop of brown on them so I like lump them in with my other browns but I have a very specific kind of brown that I want and it's just any type well I said it was very specific and then I'm like it's any of these so I want more specialty finish browns because it's like I have some metallic-y browns I have a couple specialty finish browns which I'm trying to pull for you guys so my favorite browns that I have that are like unusual like not creams are I have picture polish henna which is a brown jelly it's so cool I want to do like some white stamping and then layer this over the top of it so you can kind of see it through I think that would be really cool kind of like a trapped in amber look I have amber from picture polish which is in one of my favorite finishes by them it's they call it like holographic. I don't know if it's so much holographic. It looks more silver and reflective to me, but it's the same as the Winnie the Pooh shade they have and like a couple others that I have by them. I have that's Mr. Nook to You by uh, 90 Lacquer. Now this one has like chunkier brown glitters running through it. This is one that I was just kind of like on the fence about, but I was buying the whole collection. So I got it anyways, and I ended up really liking it and realizing that this was a huge hole in my collection. And then I have this one by a brand called Nubar. It's called Jewel. I got this in a D stash and it is a holographic brown. I never even thought of such a thing until I saw this and I was like, are you serious? So now I want to find more like weird brown nail polishes because I feel like they're not so common. I don't see a lot of them and I could be completely wrong just looking in the wrong areas. But if you guys have any like weird brown or like cool um, finish browns that you think I would like, let me, don't, let me know down in the comments because I would really love to check them out and probably add them to my ever growing wish list. So yeah, that is my answer to... <laughs> What do you have the most of in your collection? I could have just said purple and ended the video, but I had to talk for 10 minutes. Let me know down below, what does your collection look like? Like, what is the composition of your collection? Is it mostly one color? Do you have a good variety? Are you someone who only collects like one type of finish? I know there are some people who literally only wear creams. 
There are people who literally only wear specialty finishes, um, that sort of thing. I love hearing about your guys' collections. I love to chat with you down in the comments. So just let me know and I will see you in the next one. Bye.